All right, grade six. So this is another video about making a conclusion. Uh, this particular lab was taken from the handout you were given in class. So this was on the back of that handout. And the lab is about comparing two different kinds of balls we use in sports. So one is a basketball, one is a tennis ball. And the whole idea of this lab, the whole question here, is how does the type of ball either basketball or tennis ball, affect the height of the ball's bounce. So, does it matter what kind of ball that you're using? Will they all bounce to the same height, or will they all bounce to different heights? Um, so this particular lab is only comparing two types of balls. Um, and here is our hypothesis. This is the hypothesis that was on your hand up. Okay, so let's read this. If the basketball is dropped, then the height of the bounce will be less because the basketball has more mass and will not be able to bounce a lot. So this is good because um, here's the if. Okay, the if is there, the then is there, and the because is there as well. Okay, also this hypothesis is pretty good because um, uh, we've actually chosen what we believe will be the ball to drop uh, or to bounce um, the least amount. So. The basketball is what we've chosen, and we think that the basketball uh, will bounce uh, to the smallest amount, okay? So if I draw here, um, let's see, a meter stick. Okay, here's my meter stick, okay? And I have a basketball, okay? I'm going to drop the basketball, and then when it bounces back up, I'm going to record the height of the basketball, whatever that is, okay? But I think that um, if I'm comparing a basketball uh, to a tennis ball, I think that if I drop the tennis ball um, this at the same height, okay, um, I drop that and it bounces back up, um, I think that the tennis ball will actually uh, bounce to a higher height than the basketball. So that's what my hypothesis is saying. The basketball, when it's when it's dropped and it bounces back up, it'll drop to it'll bounce to a certain height. But I think that the tennis ball will actually bounce to a higher height. So that's my prediction. Okay. So here's the uh, procedure and the graph. Okay. So this was also taken right from your uh, handout. So the procedure says uh, I'm going to hold a meter stick. Okay. The meter stick is here, and I'm going to hold it vertically on the floor. I'm going to place a tennis ball um, at, uh, at the top of the meter stick. I'm going to let it drop. Then I'm going to measure the height of that bounce. Okay. Then I'm going to record that in the graph, which I've done here. And then I'm going to take the basketball, also going to drop that. I'm going to place it at the top of the meter stick. I'm going to drop that. It's going to bounce. And then it's going to bounce at a certain height. Now I'm going to record that height. Okay, and I've recorded it here in the graph. Um, so that is our procedure. That's our graph. Um, notice the graph, again, it has a, a title, the effective ball type on bounce height, has a label for the x-axis, has a label for the y-axis. Remember, the x-axis is the IV, the independent variable. The y-axis is the DV, the height of the bounce. And here we have two bars. Your, um, so this, the graph is the analysis part, and let's move on to conclusion, okay? Now, the first paragraph of your conclusion, I'm going to put paragraph one, is going to be answering three questions, okay? This is one question, second question, third question. When you do your uh, conclusion and you do your first paragraph, you're going to connect these three things, okay? I didn't do that because I want you to see um, that the, there are three questions to answer, okay? But when you do yours, you're obviously, you're going to connect this to here, and you can connect this blue part over here as well, okay? So the first question in the hypothesis is asking, uh, basically, what is the relationship um, between the uh, independent variable here and the dependent variable here, okay? Independent, dependent variable. Well, we know that um, based on the results, it seems that there is a relationship between these two variables, right? Um, because 
if there wasn't a relationship, then we'd see that the tennis ball and the basketball bounce to the same height, but that's not the case. What we see is that the basketball actually bounces much higher than the tennis ball when they're dropped from the same height. So that's what I'm going to talk about in, my, in the first part of my conclusion. I'm saying here the graph shows that the relationship between the IV and the DV is that the type of ball here ha uh, has an effect um, on the height of the bounce. So it seems that the bigger the ball, okay, a basketball is bigger, um, the bigger the ball, the basketball had a greater bounce height, had a higher bounce, okay? And that's what I, that's what I want you to talk about for the relationship. Um, in the second question, you are supposed to look at your results and also look at your um, hypothesis. Okay, your hypothesis was over here. And so my hypothesis said that I thought that the basketball um, would bounce to a lower height than the tennis ball. But my results show that that's not the case, right? My results show that the basketball jumped higher or bounced higher, sorry, than the tennis ball. So I'm going to talk about that in my conclusion. My results do not support my hypothesis because they show that the basketball will bounce higher, and I predicted that the tennis ball would bounce higher. So I was wrong, okay? And what is my, um, what is my scientific explanation for that? That's the third part of the first paragraph. My scientific explanation is this. The basketball jumped higher because it has more air molecules and a greater air pressure, which causes it to bounce higher than a tennis ball. So a tennis ball is smaller, has uh, fewer air molecules and less um, air pressure, so it's not going to bounce as high. Um, now, of course, that is an explanation that may not make a whole lot of sense to you because you don't have too much uh, background, you don't have a great background in science. Uh, but that's okay, you're still young, you're going to learn lots in science this year, next year, and uh, every year after that. So for that part, um, don't worry too much if you don't know the exact explanation. Uh, I'm not going to mark you harshly on that part. But so long as you, you know, put some effort in and see if you can figure out why it is that the bigger ball uh, bounced higher. Okay, so that's the first paragraph of your conclusion. Uh, the next slide, on the next slide, we're going to go over the, the second part.